All right, final video for the assembling of your vehicle, or this example vehicle, at least. So what I'm going to do is I've opened up the assembly tab that is by default open in your Onshape files. Um, if you don't see that, you can hit our insert element and create an assembly. Either way works is the same thing. Okay, so in this case, we don't have terribly many pieces, so I'm not going to worry about making any sub-assemblies. We're just going to go for it. So I'm going to hit insert, and we're going to put all of our stuff in here. So I'm going to click on the part studio that has all of our things so far. I'm going to click on my wheel, and we need four of those. So we're going to click on a bunch of those and keep grabbing them. But remember, we actually did need a couple other things. Um, of multiple copies. So we're going to open this up. We need another axle. Okay, we need another wheel block, a nice very blocky wheel block, and we need a, another side bed panel. If I have forgotten anything, we will figure that out. But we're going to accept this. We're going to accept this. There it goes. And here's our pieces so far. So remember how we made these together? <laughs> these are no longer stuck. And that's okay. All right. We're going to have some fun getting to put them some things together. All right. So first things first is I really want to ground at least, well, fix in on shape. I want to stick our main piece in one spot. You could move this around. Let's say we wanted to move it to our origin in a certain degree. Let's say we click on our side, we can grab our tri-directional pointer, drag that to the middle of this side at least, and move it to the origin. Okay, once we do that, I'm gonna right click and hit fix. You could also do that in our browser over here. And now if you notice, things are a little moved, and that's okay. So we're gonna start I'm just going to move some of these out of our way for right now, and then we'll take our time to put some things together. Okay. All right, let's spread some of these out so we have some space. All right, so what we're going to start with is we're actually going to start with the back end, All right? This piece back here. Okay, now I think we have most things moved at least a little bit. Okay, so first things first is this little um, axle holder needs to get fixed. Okay, remember fixed, fastened, sorry, not fixed, fastened is like glue, basically. So we're going to take our fastened mate and we're going to do the flat middle connector. And on the bottom, you know, the flat middle of the edge connector. So if you notice, these work out to connect where they're supposed to. All right, we see our axle here. This needs to be a revolute mate, or technically we could fix it as well, but we're going to revolute it. So we have a couple options here. Our best bet probably is the center curved mate connector and the center one in our axle. Okay, if you notice we move this around, we can see it's in the middle. We can accept that. All right, and then we can either fix or revolute um, our rear door onto our axle here. I'm going to affix this, fasten it, our end to our end, and accept. So later on, we're going to need to come back and change that revolute mate. So where it doesn't intersect, if you notice it's going through, okay, we will come back to that. <laughs> For right now, I'm going to right click and reset it, and we'll get the rest of our pieces connected in. Okay, what we'll do next is we're going to fasten, not fix, I mean, I'll keep saying a different thing, okay, our bottom, oops, actually not our bottom middle, we're going to close that, but our bottom corner, Gonna have a fun time here, aren't we? Okay, with the bottom flat corner, if I can select it here. Okay, as you can see though, 
it's intersecting with our other piece. What we need to do is we actually need to offset this. If we see our little directionals in the x direction, this was 0 0.25. Oops, not that way. If it goes the opposite direction, we add a negative and it will put it where it needs to go. Okay, let's accept that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to fasten bottom flat corner. Okay, with the, if we can zoom, okay, the top surface here, the flat corner, come on, there it goes. That's the tricky part with these mate connectors. All right, those two pieces, again, we need to offset again in the x direction, 0 0.25. We'll see which direction it goes. We do need the opposite, so we put a negative, and let's accept that. Okay, so now we have most of our truck bed. All right, now we have our front piece. We're going to fasten this as well. We should actually be able to use some other corners this time. So this face, the bottom right corner, if we can see it, the face of our side panel will fasten nice and well there. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, the same thing for our cab. We'll do a fasten again. Bottom corner, bottom corner. If we accept on this little menu, it'll stay open instead of having to reopen things. So we can do that. And then from our cab, the bottom right hand corner, or yes, and then the bottom left, and we accept. We have our roof. Okay, maybe this is the top corner this time and the underside. Okay, we can accept that. We're getting there. We're building our little vehicle. Now we need our wheel blocks. Okay, so this one, let's say we wanted to do the center front and the center front. But remember, we did have it around at least a few inches from the front. This is our X direction is again. So let's say we try one and a half inches. That looks about right. We're gonna accept that. We're gonna fasten and do almost the same thing with this one, just from the back. All right, we hit offset. One and a half, it's going the wrong way this time, Oops, which you can hardly see. <laughs> so we're gonna negative, Put that in there. All right, we're almost there. So we do need these axles to meet with these pieces. So we're going to do a revolute mate. Okay, if we hover over our axle, it'll give us the end connectors and the middle. We'll choose our middle. And we need the middle of the tube here, not the surface. Like this is showing the rectangle, the middle of our tube. Okay, click on that. It is now connected. We're going to do the same thing with the back one. Okay, we're going to middle, middle, accept. All right, our last couple mates here are actually going to be fastened. So remember, you can actually change the type of fasten without even, or the type of mate without even choosing the new one up here. We can actually choose it in the drop down. That's handy if you accidentally do the wrong one. You can actually just change it from editing it. So let's do these wheels. So we're going to do the end to the end and accept the end to the end. Oop, that's the middle. If that happens, <laughs> we can close that, click on the correct one and accept. Let's turn that over to the end, the end, accept, end. That looked wrong. Let's try it again. End and end and accept. All right, overall, this is for the most part our wheels, okay, our piece, our little truck end back here, but we still do need those limits, okay? So let's go figure out how to figure out our limits. I'm going to right click on that Revolut and reset it again, and then I'm going to double click to edit it. And we're going to put some limits on here. So this is limiting us in the Z 
direction. Alright, we're going to say we're going to start at zero. We're going to find out. Then we're going to go to 90. It seems about right for right now. We can play it. Alright, it looks like it turns about correctly. It's a little hard to tell since it's showing the opposite piece. Ah, it's still going the opposite direction. All right, in that case, we go back to our Revolute. Like I was saying, it kind of depends. Well, we may be able to reorient this instead of having to change our degrees here. Or we might need to do negative 90 to 0 instead of 0 to 90. There we go. Okay, sometimes those are a little bit of trial and error just to check and make sure that your work works. All right, here is our assembled example truck for right now. Um, we will go through, I'll make another video on how to create the track and animate this. Um, but for right now, that's it. All right, quick addition to um, our assembly. I just remembered that our front block was not actually the same width as the rest of it. So if you look at this, there's a nice little gap right here and not any gap on the other side. Ah, so <laughs> if that has happened to you, we actually need to go take a look at our fasten that we were using and go change the offsets. All right, so let's figure out which one we were talking about. That looks like Fasten number seven for me here. And let's look at what offsets we can do. All right, we need to offset in the x direction. All right, if we went back just to take a look at what that extrude was, this one was 2.75 instead of 3. So we have 0.25 of a total space on this side at this moment. So if we go back to that height that I just lost, there we are. Okay, in our x direction, this would be 0 0.25 divided by 2. We'll see which direction it goes. Not the correct direction we would like it to go, so we'll stick a negative in there. And now, successfully, we have a spaced out front end.